The history of the multicolored horizontal layers of sedimentary rock that rise above the inner gorge to the rims and also found beyond the park to the north and east is a fascinating story of changing environments and evolving life forms. From about 545 million years ago until about 80 million years ago, the region now known as the Colorado Plateau was often near or below sea level. Oceans transgressed and retreated, swamps were covered by sandy deserts, the sea returned, and life evolved from simple marine invertebrates to fish, sharks, and reptiles. When paleontologists compare the meager fossil record in the Grand Canyon supergroup to the abundant fossils in the Tapete sandstone, the oldest of the Paleozoic rocks, they are astonished at an apparent explosion of life forms. About the only fossils seen in the older rocks are rounded colonies of limestone-secreting cyanobacteria, sometimes called blue-green algae, known as stromatolites. Yet the Tapetes and the overlying Bright Angel Shale record an advancing ocean, teeming with an amazing diversity of complex, multi-celled organisms. Marine worms, brachiopods or lamp shells, and trilobites, to name a few. What transpired during the Great Unconformity time span? Biologists speculate that the giant evolutionary step to multi-celled organisms could not take place until oxygen became a major component of the atmosphere and became dissolved into the ocean's water. Sometime during the Precambrian era, organic compounds transformed into the first living cells, termed prokaryotes. These single cells were types of bacteria and cyanobacteria living in a world lacking free oxygen. However, the cyanobacteria practiced photosynthesis, the conversion of water and carbon dioxide into organic compounds for growth, with oxygen being a byproduct. Over a couple of billion years, oxygen slowly built up in the atmosphere. Lightning caused some of the oxygen to combine into ozone. This ozone layer filters out much of the sun's harmful ultraviolet light. The abundance of oxygen, the filtering effect of the ozone, and other changes to the environment set the stage for organisms that could be aerobic, the oxygen-dependent eukaryotes. Eukaryotes are membranous cells that reproduce by the division of a nucleus, the storeroom for genetic material. Prokaryotes reproduce simply by duplicating themselves into two equal parts, a very limited way of evolving new species. But with the eukaryotes continually shuffling their DNA, the possible permutations were limitless. Just as the last layers of the Grand Canyon supergroup were being deposited, complex multi-celled organisms developed for the first time. Unfortunately, in the Grand Canyon region, the Great Unconformity was a time of erosion rather than deposition, so no fossil record occurs until the later marine to peat sandstone. By then, an incredible array of new life had evolved. Climbing up through the Paleozoic Age rocks, you find fossil marine burrows, trilobites, fern impressions, reptile tracks, brachiopods, shark's teeth, as well as other clues to past environments, like ripple marks and mud cracks. The walls of the Grand Canyon reveal Earth history to careful observers.